How do you open this little gate here? Not just once, but twice, and yes, even thrice. So of course you're gonna do that with geometry nodes. So here I have Blender, and first thing we need is a gate. So to make a gate, well for that we need a cylinder, and actually quite a lot of cylinders, so I'm gonna create this kind of a cylinder like that, like a very long cylinder. And I'm gonna add an array modifier like that, and a distance like that. So basically just creating like these jail bars or something like that. Duplicating those, rotating them on the Y, something like that. And I'm gonna apply the array with command A, and also the second array again with command A, or control A if you're using uh, Windows. So now I'm gonna join those together, and we have the gate. So, how do we create this kind of a system? Well, let's go to geometry nodes first. That's like the sure thing we have to do. And to create this gate, we need a cube like that. And then we need the gate. And then we need a single vert. As you see here, a add single vert. And this vert is uh, somewhere here. If you don't have this vert, you just go to the add-ons, search for X, extra objects like you see here, extra objects, uh, extra mesh types, whatever. So you need those. Now we're gonna take this cube here and this is gonna be our system. So the system is in place and this is also our gate. And now let's go to this system, add a set of geometry nodes, nice and fresh, and let's uh, add this gate to the system. But we're not gonna do this like an easy way, like an easy way that we're just gonna take an object info, you know, select this gate, it's gonna be in, in here. Yes, it is in here, but it's like very broken. How do we fix that? Let's take this gate here and apply the scale. And now this gate is here. I'm gonna uh, move this original gate, um, hide this. And you see, okay, we have a gate here, but this is not how it works. If you would do it like that, this would result in some distortion. What we need to do is to take this vert here instead. So I'm gonna select the vert very precisely, and now I'm gonna take a point instance node, and I'm gonna instance uh, the gate on that vert. So this looks like exactly the same, but this works better because we can move this vert up and down, and our system wouldn't work without this vert. So now let's add this attribute proximity node between our uh, visitor and our gate. So here's the question, where is our visitor? Well, we don't have a visitor. So for that, let's add a cube and let's call this the visitor. Now let's move this visitor here and uh, maybe make this more like a human, like a stick, something like that. And let's add this visitor into our system. So I'm gonna select the visitor and uh, like connect this here to the target. So this means now we're gonna take the proximity, calculate the proximity between the visitor and the gate. And we're gonna result this in an attribute called distance, a distance. And currently the distance seems to be one. And let's see if we can use this distance to make this gate move. So let's use an attribute vector math node. Where are your vector math nodes? And let's add to the position of this vert, not to the position of the gate. To the position of this vert, the distance attribute resulting into the position. And something has just happened. Let's move the visitor and nothing happens. That's strange. Well, actually it isn't because we're using the original position. We have to use the relative position. So if you use the relative position, you see, I'm gonna move this like that everywhere around, and the gate is moving on all the axes at once, so diagonally in this direction up there. So to fix that, we have to restrict this distance attribute to only the z-axis. So let's do that. Let's use an attribute vector math node, and let's multiply the distance attribute with a vector only on the z-axis. And what has happened? our system seems to be working, right? The gate moves up and down, but it's doing this in the most annoying way in the world, at least for the visitor. So when it comes closer, the gate closes, and when it goes away, the gate opens. So we have to fix that. The visitor is sad otherwise. So for that, let's use a math node because everything can be solved with math. So I'm gonna put this math node here and set it to subtract, float, and let's subtract the distance from a float of, for example, seven. So this means now that, you know, 
here the distance from the gate or from the word actually is very very small right because this is very close to the word so this means that here we are subtracting nothing from the 7 so here the value is 7 and for example here the value uh, no here the distance is already 3 because you know 3 boxes 1 2 3 the distance is 3 so we're gonna subtract 3 from 7 and this means we have 4 here so this is basically like uh, giving us like this kind of like a gradient going down like that because you know we are subtracting more and more as we go longer or far further away from the gate so we can use that to invert the thing here and it is already inverted you see when i move this uh, visitor here the visitor approaches the gate moves up and as it goes away the gate closes which is very secure now here's the question, how do you make it so that the gate isn't like slamming to the core of the earth? Well, for that we have an attribute clamp nodes. Is it called attribute clamp node? Yes, attribute clamp node. So clamping is basically like cutting away something from that attribute and we're going to clamp the distance attribute resulting in a distance attribute. And let's see what happens. We are moving it here and you know, it is working. As you know, the visitor is approaching the gate and the gate moves up. But the problem is that it's not moving up too much. So how do we fix that? Well, let's just increase the maximum distance. So let's increase it to around here so that it can like slip in from the under. And let's move this also like from the minimum position of this gate. And the gate is in the ground, which isn't very good. As you see, the gate is in the ground. So let's increase the minimum distance here to around here. And now let's enable the ambient occlusion so we can see all of that in a very nice way what is going to happen. So I'm going to take the visitor and the visitor approaches with a cake and possibly a wine to visit his grandmother who lives in a jail <laughs> and uh, the gate opens, you know. He can just slip under the gate and after that the gate is closing. Now you're gonna ask me what was that little castle here you know. This is my new Geometry Nodes course which is made entirely with Geometry Nodes as the name suggests. So everything here is procedural you know you can control for example what can you control here the wall width. You can have a larger castle for example then you can move the door, you can make this a bit wider and you can also move it here, let's say. Then you can, you know, let's say these roofs are way too small here. So how do we fix that? We just increase the roof width. And it's available on Skillshare, which is very good because you can access this for free. There is an affiliate link in the description. This means you're going to take this link, you're going to sign up for a free trial for two weeks. And during that time, you have the possibility to look and watch and learn from my course. So the link in the description if you're interested in making a castle fully procedurally you can check this out have a nice day and check out the course